receiving a standing ovation here. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run, still going on the right track at the wall. They've stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right there. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20. With the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Tonight, it's game three of this four-game set between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Phillies baseball next on the show. Clay Buckholz gets the ball in game three of the series. Harold, any thoughts? Matt, you look at the last three outings, and I know it's just a small sample size, but he's throwing the ball really well. And I look at his whip. His whip is 1-1. One, one. When you do that, you're throwing the ball pretty good. Standing in, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. Ready with the one and one. A inside. fastball that just misses inside. These Phillies, Harold, as they enter play here tonight, they come in playing well. Six and three over the last nine ball games, including a victory last time out. Yeah, Matt, they won the game last night, and I talked to the manager earlier, and he just said, you know, we executed, and if we can do that, we'll be a consistent team, and we'll win game. Okay. Uh, no leadoff walk just yet, as that finds the strike zone, and the count comes full at three and two. Ground ball right side. Hernandez over to his left. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Michael Conforto has been a big piece for them. He's on a nice stretch. That's three home runs in his last 10 games. He's swinging the bat really well right now. And by watching his mannerisms in the box, he just looks comfortable in the plate. He's in some kind of a groove. Here's the third baseman David Wright on the season. He's hitting just over 290 coming into action here. The 2 2 now to right. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Batting third. The left fielder, number 30. Settling in now, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Just getting started here in Philly. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. It's the Mets zero. Phillies coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jacob DeGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, last game he pitched six full innings. He looked like he had good stuff. He didn't get a decision, but he gave his team a chance to be in the ball game. I look for a similar performance in this game. Now at the plate, Cesar Hernandez. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he struck him out. With that, a look at the Phillies' batting order in this one. Anybody catch your eye, Dan? Well, we'll see if Odebo Herrera can get it going. In the last 10 games, he's hitting under 250. He's a guy they need to hit a lot better than that because he's a big part of this ball club. At the plate, Michael Franco. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. This one's flared toward left center. Reyes ranging into the outfield. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. 
batting third. Here's the center, center fielder, fielder Odubel Herrera. A couple of hits Herrera. for him in four trips to the plate last night. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Phillies down in order. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Here's Juana Cespedes. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Here's Buck Holtz on one and one. Inside corner called a strike one and two. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Patrick Johnson. Well, as you know, Matt, most people in the game call him Patty. In the past, I've seen a couple pitchers wonder where they miss, but he usually rewards them for making good pitches. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Phillies. And I'm looking in the outfield of Odubel Herrera. When the Phillies were turning things around and turning that organization upside down, bringing up young talent, he was the first guy. Won batting titles in the minor leagues and really got off to a good start in the big leagues as well. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. He's currently tied for second place on the team in home runs. He's set. Here's the three and two. And this will be fouled away. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll lunge out of a crouch to make the play for out number two. Second baseman. Stepping into the box, Wilmer Flores. Hitting just a bit over the Mendoza line on the year. Ready with the payoff pitch. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. Batting seven. Into the box, Travis Darno. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. One and two, here it comes. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. As long as you actually get it inside, that two seam fastball running towards the hands is a really good pitch. Set to deal on two and two. Never move. tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four, and that's back to back walks now with two away. Now, hey, he did not want to let the hitter play. off the hook with two he's outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Fastball not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Well, he's really struggled. I mean, 0 for, for the series, but the confidence they have in him, he's still in the lineup. Let's see if he can break out right here. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Here's the pitch on two and two. Left field and deep. Kendrick. Going back on it, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. The runner scores from second. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. Throw won't get him. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Into the box, Jacob DeGrom. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. Lifted in the air to center field. Herrera's there. And that's the third out. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's one nothing Mets.
And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And oh, look out, up and in and nearly took his head off. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Travis Darnell. The thing about Travis, not a big guy, and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy, he's got a great pitching staff to catch. At the plate, Michael Saunders. And you can see he really enjoys hitting here at Citizens Bank Park, which is not a shocker. It's a good place to be a hitter. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Coming to the plate now, Howie Kendrick. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. That was a beautiful pitch, Matt, particularly in this ballpark. The ball flies here in this park, so he's going to have to keep the ball down. If he doesn't. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Blanco has it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The third baseman, number five. After tonight, these two teams right back at it again on Sunday as you get a look at our upcoming schedule that takes us into next week. Striding in once again, David Wright. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. Digging in for his second at bat, Michael Conforto. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. High in the air out to center field. Herrera's there. And that ends the inning. A good inning of work there from Clay Buckle. His club trails 1 0. Stepping up to the plate, Andres Blanco, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up. Six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And he just misses with a curveball. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. That's right. Now at the plate, Cameron Ruff. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's gone three for 11. And of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks. And now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one.
And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Throw to second, and they get him. So the sacrifice attempt is unsuccessful here. Now batting. Ready for another chance. Cesar Hernandez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Now a ball sprayed fouled into the seats near third. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. They trail this one one to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Joanna Cespedes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's Buck Holtz on one and one. A curveball that catches the inside corner. And he holds off there as the count goes even to the Mets left fielder. It's two and two. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first out of the inning. Center fielder number three. Curtis Granderson. It is Curtis Granderson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One run, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. He's really throwing the ball well in this game, and the thing to me that stands out is that two-seamer. He's got great movement, and he's keeping hitters off balance with it. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. He's set. Here's the two-two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you're wondering, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Yeah. The 2-2 one more time. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. This is a really good at bat. This is the kind that you go back to the dugout, regardless of the outcome, they go, great A-B, man, great A-B. Throw gets him at first, and that was a magnificent play. The batter, number four, second baseman, Wilmer Flores. Digging in to try it again, Wilmer Flores. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. That's a ball. Hit the target, but this is low, two, two and one. one. He's set, and the two one pitch. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Three and one, here it is. And that misses ball four, and now the Mets have themselves a two-out base runner. Now at the plate, Travis Darno. He drew a base on balls his first time up. One run, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Kendrick has it in his tracks. And that's the third out. Mets strand one, but they hold a one nothing lead. Back alongside Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirchen, as Michael Franco gets set to start out the inning. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now, now here in the middle innings. Center he's up Gilbert. over one in the inning up to this point. Herrera. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Lifted into center field. Granderson is under it. 
And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting first baseman. Tommy. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Here's a ball well struck for the right field corner. And the Phillies are into the hit column. Oh, the changeup executed nicely, and he's still got a ground right ball. He got five. the base hit. He got his ground ball. Michael. He did everything he wanted to do. Thunder. Sometimes it just doesn't work out for you. Stepping in now, Michael Saunders. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Phillies strand one. They still trail one nothing. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Right side. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Up next for the Mets. Now to the plate, Petra. Jacob DeGrom Jacob comes into DeGrom. this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. A called strike over the outside part of the plate. Here's the one and two delivery. This one's down to third. There is Franco. On to first and a good start to the inning for Buckholtz. Two away now. Shortstop number seven. Jose Digging Reyes. in once again, Jose Reyes. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Here's the pitch on two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Swing and a little blooper to center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're on top one to nothing. Here's Howie Kendrick. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Well, this has been a completely different performance from the offense that we saw yesterday. They were looking like the 27 Yankees 24 hours ago, but they've been held in check so far in this one. That's kind of how baseball goes, though. Sharp slider that time, just missed inside. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite-handed, opposite bat. You could see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Oh, he saw that change up really nice. He just wasn't able to keep it fair. Cespedes is right there as he takes it for the second now out. Catcher, Coming Cameron. to the plate now, Ruff. Cameron Ruff. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Hard hit ball to second. Flores has it. And the throw from shallow right in time at first, and the inning will come to an end. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. It's the Mets one, and the Phillies nothing. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Conforto. Striding in once again, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. 
He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And a fastball just a bit high. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw gets him two down. Now batting. Right Here's Joanna Cespedes. Joanna 0 for 2 Cespedes. on his line thus far. In there, one and two now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. A solo home run here off the bat of Yoenis Cespedes. And that is 27 for him on the year as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. In now, Curtis Granderson. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. Hey, this is a guy that can burn you again, so I don't really blame him. Lifted the other way out to left center. Kendrick giving chase, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's now 2 nothing, New York. Chris Codlin is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now, everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit. Play a little small ball, get it going. Ready for another chance? Cesar Hernandez. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Flores is there in time to first, and there are two away. Third baseman, number seven. Ready once again, Michael, Michael Franco. Franco. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't do A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're still down. It's 2-0. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Hector Neris will come on in relief now, now and he'll be Philly. making appearance number, number 80 on the season Hector thus far. Neres. Digging in to try it again. Wilmer Flores, a couple of walks for him thus far. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Line towards center field. But this will hang up a bit too long as it's taken in chest high for the first out. Ready for another shot now. Travis Darno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. A good action on the two-seamer there, and it's 1-2. Here's the one and two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Oh, 
Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. Travis Darno with the solo home run. Home run number five on the year and the Mets have taken a three to nothing lead. Well this is something you don't see every day. It had the distance the second it left the bat but it was anybody's guess whether it was going to be fair or foul. That is until it clanked off the top of the foul pole. No question or controversy now. That's an impressive homer. Digging in once again, T.J. Rivera. And Dan, after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. And they'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to now make the play for That's route it. number two. Jacob DeGrom. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jacob DeGrom. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. The set and the 1 1 pitch. And a fastball that just misses inside. Hey. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Another 2 2 offering and another foul ball. Ready with another 2 2. Grounded up the first baseline. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Shortstop number seven. Jose so a runner Reyes. at second. Two down now. And stepping in is the shortstop, Jose Reyes. And he misses two and one. Yeah, I think he missed that one, Matt. But you know what? That's going to happen. Umpires are part of the game. They're human. They're going to make mistakes. He missed it. Oh, well, get over it. Oh, he missed that pitch. I tell you what, that's the pitcher. He's got to gain his composure. You can see guys fall apart if you see a ball in the zone that long to call the ball. Paul didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that call. Busted him inside on a three one count. The ump thought it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Looking to minimize the damage here. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Let it take a hack at it. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Kendrick. And that's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mets strike for a run on this home run by Travis Darno. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's 3 0 New York. Here's the center fielder Odubel Herrera. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this is going to be a foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you see, he's up near the top, currently tied for second in that category in the National League. Swing and a liner. 
But this will be a foul ball. Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. He's been looking really good. Another hit, another right multi hit game. Five. This hot streak has been Michael really fun to watch him perform. Under. Into the box now, Michael Saunders. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Cespit is going back. Gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Home run number nine on the year. And the Phils have cut it to a three-to-two game now. Yeah, he was having zero luck early in the game, striking out twice in two at-bats, but it only takes one swing to get back in a groove. That was definitely it. Standing in now, Howie Kendrick. Liner towards second, but this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. The batter number four, Digging in the switch hitter, Andres Blanco comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a high pop up back onto the outfield grass now. And Reyes will put this one away, and the side is retired. But the fighting strike for a pair, both coming on this two run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Mets three and the Phillies two. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Sean Burnett will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Freddie Galvis will also come on now, as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. In now, Michael Conforto. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. On the ground up the middle. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Well, I think that might have been ball four, but you never want the umpire to decide that. Go ahead now and let batting. it fly. Right fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Yoannis Cespedes will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. A look at our line score thus far. The Mets have come to Philadelphia and they lead the Phils here in the eighth. So a runner at first now with one away. And standing in now is the dangerous center fielder, Curtis Granderson. He's set and the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss strike three. The throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Mets lead it three to two. Brian Holiday will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Brian Holiday. Now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Oh, 
Again, he sends it out of play. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Another one sent foul. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Uh, and he's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Now at the plate, Freddie Galvis in previous duels with DeGrom comes in with six hits in 16 tries. And this is fouled back and out of play. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and a liner, but this is going to get foul. Now, action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Pulling it in out there is Cespedes, and there are two gone now. Now batting, second baseman, Cesar. Coming to the Hernandez. plate now, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Hit in the air to shallow center. Here comes Granderson, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order. They trail three to two. Back in the city of brotherly love with Major League Baseball on the show. Brian Holiday will stay in the ball game as he'll likely do the catching from here out. Catching number 59. Dahlia Inojosa enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Inojosa. Ready now, Wilmer Flores. A couple of walks for him thus far. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. He's set, and the two one pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Here's the 3 1. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Here comes the payoff pitch. And this is fouled at the plate. The next 3 2. Line toward the gap in left center. And there's a base hit. And this could wind up as an important insurance strike here as the leadoff man's aboard to start the ninth. Well, they came in this half inning hoping they could add some insurance to the lead. Nothing better than getting that first guy on to get things going. Into the box, Travis Darno. Slider, good two strike pitch, but it misses one and two. Well, no surprise on that one. That's the classic slider down the way, trying to get him to chase on that 0 2 pitch. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. And now a swing and a ball hit in the air out to left field. Kendrick moves over. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Digging in, T.J. Rivera. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. To two and two now. Runner at first here, one man out. Oh, 
And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And there he goes towards second. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. Up next for the Mets, Patrick Jacob DeGrom. As Ruben Cabrera will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Cabrera. First and second now, one man out. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. In the dirt here. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. Shot back up the middle. Pereira is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now this is cut and thrown to first. On to first, the double play. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Nothing further in the ninth for the Mets. One last shot now for Philadelphia. They trail it here 3-2. Jerry Familia enters the now game to finish the this one off here in the Number bottom of the night. Jerry Familia. Stepping in, Michael Franco. He'll start the inning and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet, right guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Yeah, another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. This is exactly what they didn't want. Leading off an inning, and he goes up and he's swinging it. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first down. Oh, so the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's up near the top, currently tied for second in that category in the National League. Into the box now, Odubel Herrera, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Oh, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. I'll tell you, he just doesn't look comfortable in the box to me tonight. He's been off balance with his swings, and that one completely tied him up. Cespedes is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Out in front a bit as this is sent on the ground to right at third. Throw on to first is going to be in time to get him, and the Mets have bounced back from consecutive losses to take game three of the series as this ball game is over. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Jacob DeGrom gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Clay Buckholz is tagged with the loss despite giving up only two unearned runs. Jerry Spamilia records the save, his 34th. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs, six hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. For Philadelphia, two runs. And again the 2-2. And here it is. And swung it, hit the left field deep, way back. Ruin turning around. He will watch a game-winning grand slam for Chris Davis in the bottom of the ninth inning. Do you believe that? A's eight, Texas five. And it's Davis's third home run tonight. They're going.